Hello and welcome to Spinatic's tutorial on how to create a virtual tour using Spinatic. Uh, this is the second part of the tutorial and I am going to pick back up where we left off with the last tutorial and the last or the last part of this tour uh, tutorial. Um, we created a virtual tour and we uh, we created the the title and we created the descriptions but we really didn't edit the tour too much uh, we just kind of you can see that up here the, the scene name is actually the file name so we can go in and actually edit all this stuff uh, we can change the sequence of the panoramas we can hide the avatar if we want if we're making this tour for a client um, so let's get started uh, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go back I'm actually I'm going to go to manage tours and you'll see your tours listed um, you can go ahead and click right into your virtual tour and this page should look familiar to you uh, it has the three panoramas that we uploaded these are all the um, actually the file names I um, mean we can change these names so that's what we're gonna do the first thing that we're gonna do is change the scene name to something a little more elegant than underscore o2 blah 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 so uh, let's call this um, indoor whoops indoor boating and we'll call this uh, the tiki bar and we'll call this uh, the boat deck um, also too I'm not sure that I want the indoor boating to be the first scene that pops up so what I'm going to do is, uh, let's see, I actually I want the boat deck to be the first, and then, okay, the indoor boating can be the second, the tiki bar can be third. So let's go with that. And you'll notice, too, that every time I, I make a, an adjustment, there will be a, um, a, a notification that comes up and says that this has been, or the, the changes have been saved. Uh, so every time you do something, changes are being saved in a draft, and you can ultimately go back and um, if you were to log out of Spinatic and come back in you can load that draft and continue on with your changes but uh, to keep on moving along I'm going to um, actually I'm going to show you uh, what the changes that I just did with that uh, to the tour so I renamed the titles and I changed the sequence so if I go to open tour page you'll see that oh you know what? Oh, okay. I forgot to save it. So, hold on a second. Go to update. Then I go to tour page. You'll see that now that the, the sequence has been changed. If you remember last time, actually it was the um, the indoor boating that opened up first. So uh, my titles have been changed, and the sequence has been changed. So going back to this page, I now I'd like to show you how to edit hotspots. And the first thing that I'm going to do when um, editing the hotspot is you can also set up the startup view. So I want the startup view to face the open waters of the lake. So we'll point the, um, the viewer in that direction and then click on this button set as startup view, which I already did. And then from there I can also add uh, hotspots. So um, a navigational hotspot, I just need to click the hotspot it'll give me a hotspot from there I can click and drag to where I want this to end up and this is the tiki bar over here so and I want this hotspot to link to the tiki bar so I'm gonna go ahead and click tiki bar as the scene to select and also I can um, make a text description hotspot uh, again, same thing, just clicking on the hotspot, it'll appear in the imagery, and then you can move it around from there. So, just add a title, is actually the tooltip. Um, we'll call this uh, Drinks, and the description can be um, Okay, so this is a good place to drink. Uh, also, too, I don't have any 
it's still photographs ready to upload but I can show you how this would work if you wanted to still photograph of let's say the bridge and the trees you can go ahead and click that hotspot and then you'll get this little window over here and with a button to select a picture to upload and once we're done with this I'm just going to delete that um, oh, I'm sorry yeah, delete that and I can click done and to view your changes don't forget to uh, update your tour so once I do that I, I'm gonna go back in and, and see that my changes have been saved so this is my startup view remember I changed that with the button that was at the top um, here's my uh, hotspot to the tiki bar here's the the text description okay this going to take me over to the Tiki Bar panorama. Alright, so that's how you edit hotspots. Okay, so uh, a few things uh, to conclude. Um, after you create a tour, there's um, a few icons that I want to point out. Uh, this map icon just uh, shows uh, your viewers where the tour is located on a map. Um, the embed code is useful for um, for displaying the, the tour that you create on third-party web pages on any web page really. And if you are if you wanted to share this virtual tour with a client, um, you just copy this um, URL right here. This is the actual this is the actual URL to the tour so and of course with the code you can change the width and the height uh, this last code here is for sharing the tour page in any of these social networks so again this is for the tour directly especially this URL right here and this is for the sharing the tour page so uh, just going back to uh, some of the other features that you can edit about the tour uh, one thing to point out is the skin. Uh, it's kind of easy to, to miss here. It's right next to the tour info tab. But uh, you can enable the top avatar and name. So by turning that off would get rid of uh, the picture and by Derek Clark in this case. Um, and uh, as you can see I have it enabled so it's showing up on the tour. Uh, if uh, you can also enable and disable the top tour title and scene name, which is right here. Uh, in this case, is Party Boat and Boat Deck. Uh, also, too, if you are wanting to uh, just maybe you've uploaded a panorama from, um, previously and you just want to add that panorama to this tour, you can just use this button, Include from Panos Manager. So it's as easy as just uh, clicking on the, the panel that you want and it adds it to your tour. Uh, again, remember to save your changes if you're going to try to view them on the tour page. Uh, and you can also upload more panoramas after you've uploaded the initial ones. So I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, or comments or feedback uh, in your Spanatic account you'll see a feedback button that's in all of the pages on the upper right hand side just go ahead and uh, click on that and uh, send us a note so thank you so much bye